Hey you guys, this is Chaos War Finals for November 2015. I'm potted up to close to 4.89 million BR. I have my water pet on, have the Oracle Kid. Um, sticking with the Oracle for group situations, I do think it's better for a group. And, uh, and also I think that, um, even though I'm building up a Wind Ranger, I think it's Wind Rangers are fantastic for PvE stuff, and uh, you know, very very high power helps helps uh, the damage quite a bit, and very nasty in single PvP because of the bleeds. But that's the main thing about Wind Rangers is the bleeds, and uh, and so. Um, I think bleeds are much easier to deal with when you have a group. You have other people who can purify you. Um, a lot of these top groups, the ones that are really a, a big worry, um, have people who are couples together, and so they're able to purify each other with the rings. In our situation, we have tons of purification. We have um, Midori and Shock have um, have uh, have purification as mages, and then um, Robin and Midori are a couple, Shock and myself are a couple, so we have the rings that we can use as well. So those are very nice. It also makes us a very tough team to deal with, not going to kill us very easily, unless you get a really, really big AoE wipeout with like an Odin or something. That has happened to us before, uh, but but really um, a tough te team to deal with. And, uh, and yeah, so I just can't um, say enough good things about these guys. Robin has really been kicking butt lately uh, am amongst the archers and just in general, just uh, um, building a very nice tune for, for PvP. Obviously very good for PvE as well as an archer, but um, just really performing well against other players. And then um, uh, Shaka Midori looking really fantastic as well for uh, considering budgets and everything. Um, those two really just building up their Holy Forge. Um, trying to get as much gold as they can. I don't know if they can keep up with their forge uh, uh, materials uh, quite enough, but, but still doing very, very well. For me, I mean, my tune hasn't feel, felt this good in a long while. I mean, last time I felt um, like th this isn't even relative to other players necessarily. I just overall um, really having a good time with my tune is that um, my reduced res and my overall resistance balance is feeling fantastic. And, uh, and, and stat-wise, you know, I'm done with all the magical attack items for Forge, and uh, and I'm done with the armor. So I'm working on the Halid, I'm working on the Helm, and uh, and so yeah, just feeling really good. Uh, for the resistances, you know, I have all level 12 resistance crystals. Right now, my balance is for for the elements are uh, four dark and light crystals, uh, three wind and water and two uh, electro and fire and then for uh, dimensions those look really good right now um in this fight it's uh it's three experts wind water and electro and uh and then two advanced light and dark and so so that works out very very well um you know the the top t group from this server is uh is with, with DHR, and uh, we saw him with with a with a fire pet earlier. I think somebody was saying, "Oh, we're, we're not going to look good on the video," and DHR was saying, "But I I, I thought it was looking very good." Um, so <laughs> well, that's very cute. And uh, um, so yeah, uh, here taking out the I think maybe the next strongest player. I was a little bit surprised not to see Vader with DHR. Um, so, uh, but yeah. I've seen Vader, Chicken Joe, Frieza, all these people. Um, so I think this is probably their second strongest team. Uh, personally, I think the top players should be playing together, regardless of how, you know, your sentiment with each other or whatever. Uh, it's really uh, best for it. You know, we're very lucky that this team, you know, we're all guildies together. We get along quite well. And so it's easy enough to just suck it up and, and play together. We don't have, really have to, doesn't feel like a push, but uh, for some other servers, you know, there's some bad blood and uh, and so organizationally it can be a little bit more difficult. And, uh, and so here, just wrapping things up, there's one person alive and they're in a fight with somebody else from our server and uh, they get killed and so we win. Uh, so that's very nice. Now going into things with War Tune 21, and uh, and so with this group, I was just really out for blood. Um, uh, last finals w didn't go very well. You know, we we got first in prelims, so that was very exciting. And then in finals, we ended up going two and two and placing sixth, sixth, and uh, and a huge part of that, you know, Chili had a really nice job on our team, and yeah, he was one of the ones that got huge. Delphic was able to wipe out our team, and uh, and that was, you know, very deserved. And not that. Um, 
this server isn't capable of, of beating us or whatever, but I really felt like we should have won. Um, and, uh, and I ended up disconnecting and, and Robin was very close to being able to beat their team just with, just with, uh, myself AFKing, but, uh, but she didn't quite manage. And so really she, she thinks, and I think we all sort of agreed it by the end that if I were, were in the mix and hadn't disconnected, I, you know, I wasn't able to, to do anything once I came back in from the disconnection. Um, that we probably would have won and been able to won that fight and being able been able to clear out the rest of their server and so that was rather disappointing and so this time around you know like if i had computer troubles here i would have gone just so, i've been so mad um because i wanted to beat these guys and uh and so yeah, I mean, considering we're such, uh, at the time we were such a little server, we were really doing well. You know, we're always sort of the underdogs that were doing well because, um, because server BR, you know, server team BR wise, uh, we always had, you know, one of the lowest in Warlords Hall, if not the lowest. And, and so it was very good going into things, you know, sort of from a point of view of like oh i just need to scrap around and try and win and and do our best here you know there's some more pressure to win because we did have a server merge and so our our overall server is much more deep and uh and and one of the highest br servers actually our team br was um was i think maybe second or third highest and uh and and taking all of that into consideration um i think in some ways I maybe put more pressure on myself to 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 see through it that that we win um, you know we were the only undefeated team in preliminaries uh, we placed second because um, Kong 7 ended up killing uh, more quickly in, in some of their other matches so I don't really know why that's that's how it works um, you know obviously they go by points instead of by wind record which I would have preferred had <laughs> they obviously um, ranked it by wind record and then done a tiebreaker uh, with the points but that's not how it went and so here's the group in question um, so have ors who's a buddy of mine Osri chaos and and Groot uh, before I think they had Gwen Yu in the mix instead of chaos but it seems like chaos is really making his way up again uh, he used to be very very strong and then I think he seemed to you know just sort of be away from the game or, or whatever um, now he's cashing up again and so um, he's a, a bit more formidable they're hitting pretty hard here but not too many concerns you know I'm still in mage mode get a little heal going um, um, really, it's more important that uh, that Robin and Shock get into Sylph mode rather quickly uh, to make sure that we get those steals in to deal with with the uh, the Odins. But, uh, but it is very important for me, especially against these top teams, to get in some good damage with the, with the water pet. My reduced res, again, very, very high. It's, you know, over 18k at this point, so very deal hard to deal with even players who are protecting a lot against water. And, uh, and so that was feeling really good. See that Delphic, um, wiping out quite a bit of damage, so just Osri left. And there, the big Ice Bolt. A little bit low on health, probably got a bunch of deflex from that AoE, and so, um, just get the heal rune going, the others helping out with the rest of the damage. And there, Osri gets deflected, um, at low health, so... All set there, server's looking good, again, just one player left, and we get them. So, uh, so, very nice job on, on the server's part there. And, uh, and now up against Kong7, these are the guys that we lost, well, okay. So we beat them in prelims, but these are the guys that got ahead of us in points. Um, they took first in prelims, uh, because of you know, winning faster and getting more points in their other matchups. And, uh, and so I was definitely wanting to, to clear these guys out very quickly. Uh, Lil Bish from this, this team, um, was, um, going after our spawn very quickly. I don't know if she was aiming for other people. I doubt that she was gunning for, for our team. I don't think that's something that they would they would try to do but I saw her and I wanted to get her very quickly because I knew she was ma matched up with Asher and so that meant that uh, we would get a tough fight at the beginning but I wanted that because uh, I know these guys have multiple you know Titan War Warlords Hall quality teams so we need to get one of them very quickly and then hopefully get the next one as soon as possible because uh, against these top players some of the fights go very very long and, uh, and so we need to be able to clear out both of them as quickly as possible 
Um, and so uh, against uh, them before, we ended up winning on a timer, but uh, I didn't want to see that happen this time around. And so here, Asher again with his water pet, and then he has uh, two Odins on, on the other players on their team. These guys have been playing together a long time, uh, but recently some of the, a couple of their players got Odins, which is very um, nice. One of them actually is a free Odin from from uh, from from the tree, or at least he got Loki, and then probably cashed up a little to, to be able to make it an Odin. Uh, but but that's um, very very nice and uh, and then Asher still going strong with the water pet uh, has a similar sensibility about these kinds of things as I do um, oh so anyway it's just very hard to keep track of everything with the uh, hide other objects just you know randomly turning on and not allowing me to see what's going on really the having the two wind pets in the mix is just so fantastic and uh, and my group is just super shameless. I mean, I think that's part of it is, you know, in any game, sport, whatever, it's always a set of rules. And uh, within those rules, you try to win. And uh, and as long as you do them with good sportsmanship, I think um, uh, anything really goes. And so, you know, we're not going to care about BR if it means that, you know, water and, and wind are going to help us help us do the job. Um, so there we get those guys and uh, and now into another four person team So this is not a bad thing for us. It looks like they had a fight before that they won So they've taken out some of our players. So we definitely want to get rid of these guys, but that said um, Kenshin's group still probably being the bigger issue Con 7 is very strong. Um, they're a big combination of servers. I think it's like 7, 8, 9, and 15 they might have one other Kong server in there. Uh, so, so these Kong ser servers, very, very strong. Uh, one is also very strong. It's one in 14. And uh, they're very difficult to deal with. And, uh, and so, so yeah, those real toughies. Got away with not using my sylph mode here, so I'm all ready to go for the next one. But I generally don't sylph immediately. It's, it's more useful to have Poseidon when... The whole group is uh, in sylph mode al already. And here we find... Oh, no. <laughs> not Kenjin's group, but uh, still another four-person group. So, not too bad, but of course a little bit concerned about, you know, Kenjin's group running amok and killing off a lot of players on our team. Well, looks like uh, Midori does have her kit on now. And before uh, Shaka and Midori were leaving their kids out, I think that was mostly for for lag reasons, not for any particular like strategy or, or something like that. Uh, for Titan War, obviously it helps, and then um, you know usually Robin and I leave on our kids for for our Titan War teams, uh, and then take them off for Class Wars. Uh, but I think it's it's very harmless for for Shaka and. Midori to keep their kids on. Actually, if anything, it's 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 better for them. Uh, so I think it's good that they put those on this time around. These guys are a couple, so they end up reviving. But the water pet holding up really well with damage wise. So now it's a little bit of a waiting game. Um, our party did break up, so so Robin did the invites, but. Uh, but here they have four players left. It's Kenshin's team. They're up against uh, somebody on our server, and uh, who's not going to hold up very well against them. So we just have to wait things out, just stalking Kenshin until we can get into a fight with him. Their party broke up, so that's even better for us. If not, we, it, this might have gone to timer, even though we're at such a huge advantage as far as number of players. Um, so that's not a huge deal, but uh, but it is easier to take out Kenshin, who's a very, very strong archer, um, when he's just on his own. It's a little bit unfortunate for them uh, there, but I think we were just at such a huge um, player advantage, uh, number of player advantage at this point that it doesn't really matter. You don't even get to see Kenshin in this fight <laughs> because of the stupid hide other objects button. Uh, any day now, any day now, Wartoon. Gonna get rid of this crap. But, uh, still a nice job on his server's part. 
And so here, last round, up against Kabam23, of course my buddy Shady in, in the mix. And this is a very interesting one, but I think it also highlights um, some of the, the failures on my part uh, for for just the, the tournament overall. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in my prelim video, I did keep the commentary rather brief in that one. But, uh, but you know, uh, earlier, I think somewhere, you know, in the second fight, uh, Star Shooter was saying, you know, I need a party or you know like who wants to be in a party with me which is totally terrible because star shooter has well over 3 million br should be in a, in a group that he knows consistently is going to be inviting him every single battle and uh and going around and, and kicking butt and uh and so um for me i think it was so natural you know i know exactly which team that i'm going to be pairing up with it's going to be the same as what i've done every other chaos war but i think i didn't uh, really think about the other servers that we were pairing up with. I mean, that we that we merged with. And so, um, I think you know, Star Shooter and and Dark Mirror and and uh, and Tatius and and some of these other strong players, you know, Evil Arrow, um, are all strong players. And maybe I just had the expectation that they probably teamed up in some way that was relatively strong. Uh, before they merged into this server and that they would just sort of group together on their own. I mean, I put some suggestions out there, but I didn't go crazy over, you know, I don't want to micromanage people. At the same time, I feel like I didn't support them enough uh, strategy-wise and just explain to them, you know, like, hey, this is really going to help us. Um, and so I think a lot of them ended up just alone in fights or or maybe in parties, but not as strong as they could have been. And uh, And I think that hurts us here. Um, so we're up against, uh, you know, this is a very, very strong server, but actually we really cleaned them, them up in, in, in prelims. Uh, yeah, I went to timer, but it was not a timer in their favor. We were up by a lot of players and, um, and so, so really I, you know, it, it's very iffy with them because, uh, player BR wise and just strength wise, they really should be able to beat everybody. Maybe with the exception of, of Kong One on a good day, uh, but they have... So, I think the most people over 4 million BR on a server, maybe now, because um, they had a server merge that just made them super, super strong. And so really all of their failures are almost always organizationally. Um, you know, Shady has a very strong group that he goes with for Titan War, and so they sort of go around together. Dawn wasn't in the mix. Dawn is like missing from this, Dawn Key. And, and so, you know, if they had him in the mix, that would be even more difficult to deal with. Um, so I think, you know, if they have anything that resembles a strategy, then they do fantastic. And they, they're very strong, they can take out these servers or do well against these servers who are very, very strong. And, but like, the moment they're even like remotely disorganized, um, things start to fall apart. And that's where we got them in prelims, and so I didn't really know what was going to happen here. I wanted to, as quickly as possible, get Hot One or Shady, and we couldn't get either of them uh, very quickly. So we get Hot One here, but I wanted both of their groups gone as soon as possible. Um, I later found out that it was quite un intentional on Shay's part, so I was talking to Shay afterward, and their strategy was pretty much like avoid Ilya's group like the plague, and um, and overall it was doing very well for them. That's incredibly frustrating on our, their, our part because they're taking out some of our players, and we're not able to get rid of them very quickly. But here, at least getting hot one, and uh, right now our server is is losing. So they have, you know, the other server, Kavan23, has more players than we do at, at this point. So I knew that we had to play catch up, and I know that's also because Hot One and Hot One and Shay's groups were um, were running amok while we were stuck against some some weaker players. And so that's really, I mean, that's 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 the difference between you know winning and losing here. And, uh, but at the same time, I think that, um, some of our players could have stalled and, and, uh, and been better off if they were partied up, um, in a more efficient way, especially the players from the other server. And maybe I didn't c take into consideration that, you know, 40, 68, and 70 was not a super competitive server in Chaos War b before pairing up with us, because they didn't have enough people really at, at the cream of the crop to deal with, you know, top 20 cross-server players. And, um... And so yeah, I think that was just overall my my biggest um, 
failure, you know, regardless of whether or not I should put that responsibility on myself, um, the, the game sort of forces it on the top player to get people organized, decide who's going to be on the list, um, and so, yeah, I go out of my way to remind people, hey, this is probably what we should do, hey, find parties and whatever. And for the Kabam 1821 people, that's very straightforward. We've done this twice before, they know who they're going to grow group up with, and I don't really have to, like, you know, say anything, really. But, you know, new people, and I should have been more diligent about saying, you know, hey, this is what we should be doing. So we still do have a very, very strong performance and are doing well, but just not as well as we should have. And here, we actually get ahead. So I don't know if somebody says it, but um, somewhere in the middle of, of this, uh, this fight, this is the last fight we have, we're up 12 to 10 players. And so we have our, our server finally catches up. We have 12 players, they have 10. And, uh, and we're still going, things are, you know, going, going to timer for, for sure, pretty much, because we're getting towards the end of the fight, and, uh, we're just not quite able to, to wipe them out. Actually, Dawn is here. Oh, I thought he wasn't in the mix. I thought it was, like, Strat or something in there in, the, in this fight, but no, I see it. But anyway, so just at the very last minute, they took out one of our four-player teams. At the very, very last minute. And so we lost four players, and so we went from being up... Uh, 12 to 10 to losing eight uh, wait being up 12 to yeah 12 to 10 but and losing eight to ten players and so um yeah I mean just really really frustrating I think but hurt is like an understatement for how I was feeling after this I was just super super bitter and <laughs> I'm just a really sore loser and that's like uh that's Especially when I had this expectation that we should we should do really well, and I was feeling so good about our team and and uh, and you know the group I was in was undefeated. We weren't gonna lose to Shay's team, and and we were doing so well, and it was just I, I don't know. It's this is probably the hardest loss I've had since you know probably one of the times that I got second in class wars back back in the day or any of the times that i got fourth in class wars it sort of feels like that i was just feeling so close to winning or so close to you know doing as well as i think we should have and just falling a little bit short and so you know shock has a much better attitude about these she's like you know they have tons of top players if they're even remotely organized they do very very well and so um she you know will instill the fact that Hey, we did very well for for what we had, but um, but at least for me and probably for Robin too, we're both so competitive and we so you know want to win that of course next month I'm just like you know absolutely gunning for these guys and that's not easy to pull off. But hey, I mean I just I want to beat these guys so badly next time. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really like Chaos War, so I hope you guys do too, and, uh, and that things went well for your servers. So I'll catch you guys next time. Take care, and have a very good day.